Hello everyone and welcome back to Baron Breakfast. So last time we got completely scammed out of an entire fortune by Barbara. I still cannot believe that we had to do that. Um, the game thought it was pulling one over on us. I knew it was coming. I just didn't have an option if I wanted to progress the storyline. So maybe I am the gullible one after all. I thought that I would get a quality content story and they ended up uh, stealing four hours of my life and uh, 50,000 virtual coins for me. <laughs> but anyways, I went ahead and I cooked this hearty soup for Cian, so let's see what he's got going on. Oomph. I brought you something. I thought you'd need more than usual, so I made more than usual. I told you, your efforts are quite futile. Futile and, mmm, savory. Give it here. Do you like it? Oh, hmm. Mm. You've done quite the impossible feat. You've given me a memory. A memory I thought was long forgotten. Oh yes, there isn't anything in this world quite as magnificent as a shady branch on a hot summer morning. At the end of the day, it's still only you that needs to be satisfied, so being mindful of the branches in life is a good idea. Sometimes the best thing you can do for yourself is nothing at all. But as I quickly learned, that philosophy only works when you're content with the little that you're born with. My regularly scheduled nothing was abruptly interrupted one day by those that are never content. They chased me for hours and finally cornered and trapped me. I was suddenly just a trophy, something to be taken and sold, forever doomed to a life of nothing by force. Forgotten long ago. I didn't know. Can I help you? Do you want to get out of here? There was nothing in the world I would have wanted more a few years ago. Now. I have nothing to return to. Time has passed over me and over the world. The creature that came here is gone and so is its home. It was replaced by me. And I live here in this rundown cold ruin. But I will continue this debate no longer. I leave you with something in return for your suit. These are dark forces you do not understand that govern this world. They sometimes torment my dreams and bother my sleep. The answers you seek are behind doors, locked by these forces. You must find three horned devils by the sea. They will lead you where you wish to go by the sea, so that would be the beach, right? Um, oh wow, my frames just freaked out. Um, real quick, before we go, what's by the beach? There was the, um, weren't there like the, oh, I guess you wouldn't know, I haven't actually shown it on the channel. There's like three little bat guys, um, they don't have horns, um, so I'm not really sure about that. I don't know, we'll, we'll try it, maybe there's somebody that moved there. Real quick though, I do want to go and talk to Finn and see what I get for the end of this quest line. I'm wondering if this is actually like the end of his official quest line. Obviously, oh my god, you filthy humans. Clean up after yourselves. Obviously there's the um like bonus objectives for places, but this might be the last one. H Hello, I finished the task. Achievement. We value your hard work. Please consult your local placard for further instructions. Shh. Is anyone there? Shh. Yes, uh, hello? Who is this? Pon Vow what? I don't want to read any of this. Finn, is that you? Who's there? Is that an animal? All I hear is growling. What kind of a job is this? You said this was customer service, not this alligator hunter crap. Shh. Premium partner. Guests require amenities. Please acquire additional entertainment facilities. Thank you. Shh. That was weird. Entertainment facilities? Like playing games? I think Oliver said something about that once. Talk to Oliver about the arcade. Okay. What is this want from us? Uh, you can further improve this establishment. Build six level five bedrooms and three level four bathrooms for a pair of pants. I already have pants. Um, I don't know. That that seems like a lot of work. I don't think I'm going to do that right now. Uh, not this one. I want to turn off. What is that one called? Elbow room? Oh, here it is. Untrack that. All right. Um, I'm not super worried about Finn's stuff right now. It sounds like that's just to unlock a new building. I want to continue the main actual story right now. There's some side stuff that, I don't know, I'll, I'll probably do off on my own. Not everything is as interesting as it seems, so, I don't know. If we need more content, then I can always do that side stuff on camera. But right now, I'm not worried about it. Where the heck were those bats? I can't remember. 
Um, I swore there were bats here. Am I misremembering? Maybe they're down further to the south. Otherwise, yeah, I don't remember. Down by the beach. Unless... Maybe they were up in the um, lighthouse area? That could be it. I genuinely don't remember which one it was. Let's try up here. Maybe, maybe it was here and I'm misremembering. Oh yeah, there were these guys. What the? Get a load of this guy. Where do you get off coming into the dark brood's lair? It didn't look that dark to me. Typical wise guy. Your flesh looks nice and tender, just like he likes it. Thank you. Yes, nice and juicy. We're by the sea. I count one, two, three weird-looking devils. Do you know anything about dark forces? Do we not? Ha! He's killing me over here. Whoa there, Gary. We know nothing on an empty stomach. Yeah, that's right. We want something nice and juicy for ourselves. If we were to know anything, that is. Well, I've thought about it, and you can't have a bite of meat. Ew, what are you? A ding-dong? That's disgusting. We can never go on his turf, but we could go for some nice peaches. Those are real nice and juicy. Yeah, but not just any peaches. They better be nice and cooked and tender-like. And there better be enough for all of us. Cooked three peach cobbler. Oh, I actually did that already. Um, I was serving some of those earlier. So, you got our peaches? I do. Got three peach cobblers for you. Good, good. Yeah, these will do. So, what do you want to know? Has he come to you? Has he talked to you? He... Yeah, the bloody prince, the sanguinary sovereign, the bird god. I don't think so, I don't know, I've never heard of anyone like that. But you are looking for him, correct? Otherwise, what are you doing fetching peaches for a bunch of good-looking weirdos? Well, I've had some weird dreams lately. So he has paid you a visit. It was just a dream. Dreams? Yes, that's his usual MO. Before he hunts your flesh and feasts on your remains. He terrorizes your dreams to tenderize your brain. For better eating, you know? The fewer thoughts, the better. Less chewy. I am both scared and also do not believe a word you're saying. Oh no? Well, don't come to us when you'll just be another bag of bones for his pile. I don't think you thought that one through. Listen, if you're so sure he does not exist, we challenge you. Yeah, we challenge you to prove that he doesn't exist. That's how it's usually done. Yeah. Go to the Forbidden Forest, the Dark Grove. To the east, you'll find an entrance to a cave. That's the last place we saw him, or we think we did. He doesn't like to be seen. Yes, once there, find and bring us evidence that he doesn't exist. It's the only way to prove your theory, of course. Okay. Um, find evidence of the bird god's existence. How did this go from, like, Barbara pulling one over on us to all of a sudden we're now doing the wishes of some bat group? Oh, hey. Tony's got something for us. Oh, hello, my boy. Pleasure seeing you again. I trust the building's going smoothly. Yeah, I never thought wood could be turned into so many things. Oh, yes, you could carve it into something useful like a chair, or something decorative like a chair, or turn it into a weapon like, hmm, like a chair? Exactly. Yes, it's a fine replacement for just about anything, except maybe a child of your own. To hold and to cherish. Uh, say, I was working on a cabin and I had some extra wood laying around, so I made you something. Really? Yeah, I made you a uh, little carving of me. Oh my, that's wonderful. If I had a refrigerator, it would go right at the very top. May I have it? Yes, yes, I left it back at the uh, cabin. I'll be right back. Get Tony one small bear carving. Uh -huh. Okay, we... We can do that maybe later. Bag of balls. That's an unfortunate name. Alright, so this should take us over to the Dark Grove, and then a cave that we need to enter. I'm trying to remember if I've seen a cave here before. Cave, cave, cave. Um, oh, is it up here? I don't have something to break this. Prospector's gear, are you kidding me? Ugh, okay, well... Uh, we can go talk to Oliver about the arcade, I guess, while we're, uh, dealing with that, because, I mean, they play into each other. The Prospector's gear is right next to that. Game making me run everywhere. I wish there was a bus stop out here. I don't know why there would be a bus stop, considering it's so evil out there, but it would save me some hoofing around. 
All right. Fair amount of money. By no means efficient. I have not made very nice hotels. I would not stay at one of these places. Um, especially with some of the requests people have. They are, they are not very good. But, I digress. Let's go to t t Timber Crossing. There we go. I believe in your game. Alright, Oliver is here, so let's check in with him. Oh, good on you, bud. Nice of you to drop by again. What can I do you for? I'm looking for a way to be more entertaining, I think. Oh, you're plenty that already, bud. But if you ask me, there's nothing more fun than sitting in front of a screen for a few dozen hours and playing a good old video game. After a long day of driving people around on my bus, there's nothing better than relaxing with the game. For a few dozen hours? How many hours are in a day, do you think, Oliver? What kind of game? Bus simulator. Of course, they had to stop making it. The technology couldn't quite keep up with real buses. Nothing can, really. Say, if you wanted to be more entertaining, I could give you one of my games. Well, I only have my originals, but if you found a disc to copy them, I could get you sorted for a little price, if you wouldn't mind. A silver disc should be good enough for these ones, bud. Last I remember, there was a big bag found in the river in Pinefall. Maybe some washed up along the shore there? Uh, I think I have the silver disc. I could be mistaken, but... Yeah, I have the silver game disc. I had collected this a while ago. Wasn't there like a, a gold disc too? Or maybe I have that one on me still? Um, yeah, I have a golden game disc that I had found as well. So maybe I'll need that as well. So what do you say, bud? Any luck finding a silver disc? Yes, sir. Got one right here. Ah, that's absolutely quality, bud. Good on you. Here, bud, this is this is what this is was my favorite game growing up. You're gonna need a kick-ass machine to run it though. Can't give people those little handheld things, can ya? If you want more games, I'll set up some in my shop in the back. It'll cost you a bit, but ripping these discs ain't free for me either. Okay. Day in the Fields game. Um, you've unlocked a new crafting recipe, Day in the Fields game recipe. You better get back there and try these out, bud. Wait, so. I'm confused. So do I build like arcade machines now or something? Outside game, day in the fields, dollar per hour. Huh. Okay, well we want a prospector's gear while we're here. And actually I want to see one small bear carving. I think maybe Took will have one of those for us. Um, perhaps? Small bear carving. There we go, it's not even that expensive. I've made so much um, money off of, well, all of the people that I've been dealing with recently. All right, take me to Sawdust. And then we will drop off the stuff with Tony. Oh wait, I needed to go back to Pinefall. I should have done that first. Let's go to Pinefall. We will talk to Finn, and then we will drop off the stuff with Tony, and then we will check in on the bird god. Which apparently is the one. Well, there you have it. I more than just made up all of the valuables that I had spent buying the carving. <coughs> Hello? I found a way to be more entertaining. <coughs> Hello? Welcome back, valued partner. Finn, is that you? Are you back? Thank you for participating in our most recent assignment. We here at Pond Voyage value your partnership greatly. It's you. I recognize your voice. How are you? We are unable to process your request at this time. Oh, I see. Please consider further developing the property with the appropriate entertainment facilities. Ah, so I unlocked the arcade. Some guests specifically look for an arcade. Yeah, we know how this works. Build an arcade. Yeah, we can do that. We'll build a really cruddy one for the time being. We'll put it right next to the museum. So that way, once people are bored looking at our singular attraction, they can check out the arcade. How big does an arcade need to be? Um, not utility, but special. I did not mean to click that. Back. Crafting. Oh my gosh, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Arcade. Four by five. Okay, we can do that. 
and then sure it'll be an awkward one where um they have to go through here to do that yeah i like that and then crafting let us make ourselves an arcade machine did i get a recipe for an arcade machine don't actually know if i did i hate when the music just randomly turns off it makes me think that the sound is like broken on the game or something um arcade machine sure don't i need the game or do i just have the machine no i 100 percent will need the game now that i think about it um okay well i guess we will be coming back again again once we buy the game right well let me double check because if I don't have to, I'm not going to. Or actually, I have the Day in the Fields, right? Oh, okay. Day in the Fields game recipe. Let's build this. And then recipe. Boom. It's technically an arcade. Perfect. We don't have to go all the way back to Oliver. Here you go, Finn. Pond Voyage would like to restate its position as the top highest scoring multi-layered corporation in its sector in the biannual Employee Wellbeing and Consideration Survey, as reported by Pond Surveys and Polls Incorporated. I built an arcade. Hey, are you okay in there? Congratulations, your efforts have once again raised the net worth of our collaborative property, leading to the greatest possible outcome, generating value for the shareholders. I didn't mean to. Great success. As the properties in the sector have all been developed to a certain degree of satisfaction, this representative is no longer required to offer guidance, and as such will now cease operation for this location. Thank you for joining us in this exciting experience. Good luck, buddy. Shh. Oh, bye, Finn. Alright, that's goodbye for good. I don't even know if I was talking to the real Finn at the end or if it was somebody else and he just got sacked. It could have been anything. All right, Tony, I went ahead and I was very kind and got you a small bear carving. So small. So may I have my gift now? Yeah, it's right here. Oh, this is wonderful. I've never received such a thoughtful gift. My boy, this is something any father would be ecstatic to receive. From uh, anyone, including members outside of their immediate family. Yes, but this is quite lovely. Thank you. I would like to give you something in return that I've been saving for a long time. I was holding this for someone else, but, well, I think you should have it. This is my collection of ball bearings that I've gathered over the years. You can never have too many ball bearings. You never know when something needs to run a little more smoothly in, in, in your life. Thanks, I think. A bag of steel balls. Okay. Yes, well, run along now, you little rascal. So that's why... Oh, and that's another one of those museum things I can make. Perfect. Uh, I don't want to do that right now. Your dad's love. Let us untrack that. Tony's offered you something deeply personal from deep within his soul. You should bring it to Charlotte and see if you could exploit that feeling for hard cash. Ah, this game. It really builds up those warm, cuddly feelings inside, you know? Nothing like exploiting the love of others. And that is a lesson to take to heart, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so... Let us go ahead and actually check on this bird god. I hope it's actually behind this rock because if I did all of that for no reason, I I don't know what I'll do. I'll, I will fume silently and then go and purchase another prospector's gear. We aren't hurting for money by any means. I, I mean, I'm still upset that Barbara stole from us just because she stole from us. It's not like it's hurt us financially. It's more so just the fact that she would steal from us, you know? I need an iron key for this gate. Okay. What is this? Red feather. Okay. Find evidence for the bird god's existence. A red feather? It wasn't red in the dream, was it? Oh, the cave keeps going. Um, loggers tools, rubber slab, sure, I'll take this stuff. I don't really need it. I don't know what I would use it on currently, but, I mean, why not? Yeah, let's just wander. I mean, it looks like it isn't interconnected. If you look at the map here, it's all blacked out, but 
it, it seems like a pretty linear path. Oh, and there's a door here. As well as a rickety old bridge that requires two loggers tools. Why would you only give me one loggers tool then? Are you kidding me? And I need a fuzzy charm key. I came all- Hmm. This game, it gets to you. <laughs> nah, that's no big deal. It is kind of a question of like, really, you couldn't have given me that second loggers tool. But I will bring a second loggers tool with me. Anyways, I am going to go ahead and cut back to when we get back to the bats. So, I will be back shortly. Okay, everyone. So, I have made it over to the bats. Found anything? Bet you didn't even go. I did, actually. I found this feather. You... you what? Found feather? A feather fr from him? This is it. This proves everything. We knew it. You were right to be scared. Your body felt it before your mind caught up. That fear in your spine was just your survival instinct trying to save you. If only it knew better than to even try. The bird god is real. The bloody prince of darkness lives. He roams the dark caves. We knew we saw him with our own eyes. We did. He has a dark figure, bloodshot eyes, and giant scaly wings. His monstrous wings shed bloody feathers every day, making way for new ones. His sharp claws and needle-like jaws can even tear through, um, a coconut, yes. And he will bring his wrath upon the world once again. All hail the bird god. You have found evidence. It's so clear now. You must go find him. Yes, you must. No, I certainly mustn't. Oh yes, he calls for you. You must seek him. You now know where you must go to find him. The cave. The cave! How could we have been so blind? Don't answer that. On our last voyage there, we found this key on the ground. Well, we found the little fuzzy thing. The key came with it. It might be useful inside the cave. The cave! And what if I refuse to go look for your bird god? Then he will come looking first. Alright, solid argument. Go to the cave! Find the bird god! The bird god. Interesting. Okay, well. We have the... Oops, I clicked that accidentally. We have the fuzzy charm. And while I was off camera, I purchased another loggers. Um tool or whatever it was called so that way we can repair that uh that bridge because we will end up needing to okay so we will make our way all the way back to this cave it's it's a distance that's for sure but at least now we will be able to finally see who this bird god is it's weird, the game referenced this guy in like our very first video, and then he never showed up again until now. Assuming it's even the same person. I mean, it said that it was the one who showed up in our dreams, but it's like, I don't know. I, I find it weird that it wouldn't show up. Oh, need a rusty key for this door. It, it's weird that he would not show up for 99% of the game and only be at the beginning and I don't know I would assume we're close to the end so yeah it's weird that he hasn't been in the game but I mean it could very well be that there's a lot more of the game left uh, I was told there's about 30 hours of gameplay so who knows maybe maybe there's a lot more where does this take me out to back into the cave for some more stuff. I don't even know what that did for me, to be honest. Alright, so we will go and use this fuzzy charm key. Let's see the bird god. It seems to lead into a hidden chamber. I mean, it's not that hidden if there's a door leading straight to it. Halt! Wuak, who goak? Oh, like, I think it's walk, like, um, like a parrot or something. Who goes there? It's about time already. I've been waiting for ages. H hello Well, don't just stand there with a smart look on your face. I'm famished. Uh, are you the bird god? God, king, lord, emperor, pick your favorite. As long as you bring me something to eat at once. I am Vlad, and you shall not address me directly. You look a lot less scary than I thought. Well, I'll turn into something scary, all right? Unless you get me something edible soon, I might just have to devour you. You have significantly fewer teeth than I thought. Quickly now, something red and delicious. Something I can really sink my significantly fewer teeth in. 
So will it be, the blood of a newborn? Don't be ridiculous. I think your lord will go for some beets. I trust you still grow those around here. Okay, we can get some beets. Alright, um, what do we have here? The rusty key. Alright, and I apparently already have snappy beet chips. I don't remember collecting those, but they must have been in a chest or something. <laughs> Have you brought me my beets? Yep, got them right here. Give it here. Oh, finally, something to appease the royal stomach. What's taking you so long anyway? I've been waiting here for what felt like ages. Is the ceremony ready? What? No, I don't even know who you are. Peasants, they kept, they keep me waiting all this time and they finally send over peasants. Listen, you, and listen well. Your king shall not be treated this way. King who? King, God, whatever you see me as. I was quite happy in my old land, even without my special title. I could even say that the modest amenities there were better than these royal chambers. I think we have very different definitions of royal, mister. I can't believe they sent such a simpleton after all this time. I'm sorry, but I don't think there's anything kingly about this place. It's a hole in the ground, an abandoned one. Abandoned? How dare you? These are clearly imperial grounds. You wouldn't know noble blood if it executed you in the town square. Why have you been locked in the um, royal chambers for all this time? Because, because, because of the preparations, of course. It is by my endless grace that I allow you to hear this explanation, only this once. I was chosen as next in line for the divine throne by my loyal followers. They came to my home and took me on my regal trip towards my new kingdom post-haste. That's a uh, CN right there, so... They were actually caught together, it would appear. It was quite a brutal journey, even by servant standards. For the good of the realm and my own protection, the guards brought me here to the Imperial, uh, Dark Cellar. Here I would await the ceremony preparations to be complete. I should be summoned for my coronation shortly. They do like to take their time. Can't believe I have to explain myself to a provincial. I see. Well, at least you're not the bloodthirsty bird god looking to hunt me for sport. How rude. That's what your weird little followers told me. If you mean the three gremlins smelling around the caves for a whiff of my royal behind, I carry no such entourage. And you can very much inform them that, absent a coronation ceremony, I am to be left alone. I don't think there's going to be one, Vlad. Oh no? Why else would I be brought all the way then? You are simply not well informed enough to grasp the entry intricacies of high-level diplomatic arrangements. I will be here awaiting my servants. If you are not intelligent enough to be one, then be gone from my sight. Pfft, not royal ch uh, chambers. What a churl. Tell the flight what you've learned. What? Oh, wait. The flight is the name of the bats. Right, right, right. Um, okay, so... Let us see. We have this new cave. I'm not sure if we've explored this cave yet, but we also have an extra key. Oh wait, that's where it connects up. It's the right side of the cave. Okay. What is in here through this rusty key then? It seems to lead further into the darkness. Well, that would be the goal, wouldn't it? Oh my gosh, we need another prospector's gear. My gosh, there's a, a lot going on here. What do we got? A medium geometric rug and a bunch of supplies. Very nice. I don't much care. My um, hotels are kind of self-managing. At this point, it's become less of a game in that regard. Oh. I still don't have the iron key, but I'm on the other side. Interesting. Um, my hotels are kind of self taken care and I'm still making money just idly so I mean I can decorate them nicer but it's kind of like eh. Onyx time seems to be part of something bigger. I can't tell if we're close to the end or not if I'm honest. Um, I'm gonna push on ahead and see if we are close to the end. Uh, maybe this will just be a longer episode than usual. Oh come on Hank exit there you go. This might just be a longer episode than usual, um, because it feels like we are close to the end. If it reaches a certain length, then I will just go ahead and cut it, but barring that, I think that we will just try and try and push through. I know I've kept these around 30 to 40 minutes. This might be a, a bit of a longer one, but hang in there with me. I'm trying. Boom, and just like that 4,500 extra smackaroos without me doing anything. Literally, I just sit here and the money comes to me. 
Gus is single-handedly running my hotels for the most part. All right, so we will go to the flight. We will also buy a prospector's gear, just to be safe. I might buy a bunch of them, just because I'm tired of having to go back. Uh, maybe some loggers tools as well. Gosh, this map is such a mess. It's hard to tell where you can and cannot walk. Okay, timber crossing, let us go. All right, and let us buy up like not 99 of them. That seems expensive. Let's get like three of these guys. I highly doubt we will use three of these guys, but you never know. So three of those and like three of these. And there we go. That'll tide us over just in case. I also, I forgot to mention, during that cut that I had made earlier, when I was returning to the bats, I did a very quick quest for Oliver. He just asked for that golden disc I had, and he unlocked some more recipes for games. Hence, if you saw in his toolbox there, there were a couple more games. One of them was called Simulator Simulator, and the other one was like... I think he actually gave it to me. The other one was, uh... Cobra Dinner. Great naming scheme here. So, was there anything in there? Did you see him? I hate to break it to you fellows, there aren't any gods, definitely not any bird ones. Ha, I told you he'd be too scared to go. I went through the entire cave and I found your bird god. No you didn't, you're still alive. I did actually, his name is Flad and he has a considerably smaller amount of teeth than what I was told. But the feathers. Turns out parrots shed feathers, especially when forced into a tiny room. That's impossible. Oh, and he asked you don't go creeping on him anymore, he's got other priorities. This doesn't make any sense. The vision in the dream said to look for it. Look for the bird god. I'm starting to think we should all skip late dinners before bed. Maybe it was just our imagination. I haven't dreamed it in a while. Yeah, me neither. Not since the night of the fire after the bear died. So that settles it. We... the what? Yeah, the big fire. Were you born yesterday? What was that about a bear? There's no other bears in the valley except me and my mom. Yeah, there was. They died in the fire, we think. How do you not know about that? I... I don't know. It was a big deal, that doesn't usually happen. Who was the bear? Did you know them? How did it happen? Look, guy, you don't you mind taking your unexpected revelations elsewhere? We kind of have our own deal our own to deal with here. Yeah, besides, it's not us you should be asking about bears around right here. Our flavor is murderous, ruthless gods, and those aren't even in anymore, apparently. Yeah, I'll find someone else to ask. Don't let us stop ya. Someone find someone to ask about a third bear in the valley. Um who would I ask about that? Um, I'm wondering, I could maybe... I don't know. Um, either Beanie or Mom. Those are the only two I can think of. Let's try Beanie first, I guess. Are we about to find out that, uh... Like, Hank isn't alive, he's a ghost bear or something. Beanie, hey. There's mushrooms out there. Okay, so it's not Beanie. I guess we ask Mom then. Okay, there's a connection up here that we should be able to use. I mean, okay. We could ask Mom, Jax... Um, I don't know who else we could ask. Julia, maybe? She's been around for a while. Ani wouldn't know, Will wouldn't know, but... Right, that's my room. Mom would be here. Hello, dear. Are you alright? You seem a little off. Hey, Ma. Yeah, I'm okay. I've got something I need to ask you. Anything. Did something happen? No, I'm alright. I just... Do you know anything about another bear in the valley? Oh. I thought it was just the two of us. Um, of course it's just us, dear. Who else could it be? I don't remember a lot about the fire. I was so little. Hank, dear, I'm feeling a little cold in my fingers. Would you mind bringing your old mom a nice hot cup of tea? Oh, yeah, of course, Ma. Linden will do if you could. Cook Linden tea for Ma. I... I think I collected a bunch of that from a chest a while ago. 
I don't know where I would collect it from, though. Or wait, I guess I could go back up to Sawdust. There's a uh, chest up there. No, there isn't. I don't know what I'm talking about. The little stash boxes are only by where Finn used to be. So I would have to go all the way back up to um, Timberwood at the very least. Man, lots of running back and forth. You know, I think we'll grab this and then uh, we will talk to Ma real quick and then we might call it there. I, I wanted to see if we could finish this all in one more episode, but I, I'm starting to think even more so that maybe it's longer than I had thought. Which is fine. Um, we'll just go ahead and call it after we talk to her. Okay, did I have tea? Um, it doesn't look like it. Oh no, I do have spicy linden tea. Does this count as cooking? Because I didn't technically cook it. It sure does. Perfect. Okay, in that case, let us go back to Sawdust. And then we will go talk to Ma. And then we will end the episode after that because... Otherwise, I'm just going to keep the video going and going, and it'll become a bit rambly. <laughs> Alright, so... Ma... Wait, is she out and about? Is that what the arrow is pointing to? No, the arrow is just pointing off into nothingness. I'm assuming she's still in the house our nice little uh, hobbit shack here. Did you make some tea? Yes, here, careful, it's hot. It's hot, I think it's been in that chest for like, ages. Ah, just a little spicy, it's perfect. Just like you, my dear baby. Ma, do you know anything about another bear? You make such great tea, you should open a tea shop. Oh, I don't even know what all the flowers look like, I just like how the water boils. Hey, a bit too sweet maybe. Ma, yes, is there something you're not telling me? <sighs> Hank, my dear boy, my dear, dear boy. I've always told you that your name came from the spirits, Hank. Well, in a way it did. It was your brother who picked it. His name was Artie, and he was the best kid anyone could ask for. All the nonsense and myths about the gods, they're all scare stories to scare children. But I won't lie and say I didn't pray to them that evening. Oh, that night, the night of the fire, the universe was merciless. The sky felt so heavy. Even before the sunset, you could tell death was in the air. Artie was afraid the fire would spread, and he left to save his friends. He never came back. All we found was his burnt hat and torn clothes, pierced by these black stone needles. The fire went on for over a week. We ran and ran until we managed to escape here, in this little corner of the woods. This is where we finally stopped to rest. It was just the two of us from then on, trying to survive. You, me, and the pain that kept us from company all these years. I shouldn't have let him go. I've never told another soul about this. I... I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything, Hank. I'm sorry I haven't told you after all this time. I was afraid. I thought that if you knew it would make it real again. It would bring the pain back, and it would tempt death again somehow, to come take you too. No, Ma. No, it won't. I wouldn't let it. I'm sorry I lied to you. I understand. It's okay. I'm just... I'm just a little surprised, I guess. Artie loved you a lot. He was so strong, but also kind and caring. You were just as much. After that night, I didn't think I was going to make it, but you kept me afloat. You made me keep going. I'm sorry, Ma. You have nothing to be sorry about, my dear baby boy. You have an amazing and kind soul which you always share with others, always so carefully. I'd like you to have this. It somehow kept Artie close to me all these years. I think it's time he was by your side for a while. Thanks, Ma. Thanks for telling me. I love you too, dear. The Onyx Tine, that was the thing from the cave. Love you too, Ma. Okay, well, I guess next time we will be exploring that cave. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Uh... Big revelations, Hank is not a ghost bear, which is good to know. I thought that maybe they were talking about him dying in the fire, but it sounds like his brother died in the fire. So next time we will go and explore that cave, and then I think we will learn a little bit more about the end of the story. Maybe one more, two more episodes, I'm not really sure. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.